And here with us now is NASA's Thomas Wagner, a program scientist at the Planetary Sciences Division at NASA headquarters. Uh, Tom, great to have you. What an interesting story. It, it kind of sounds like something out of a plot of a science fiction movie. I explain to us a little bit more about what's going to happen. I want you to picture driving your car down the road at 15,000 miles an hour and then pulling into a parking space without ever slowing down. And that's what this mission is going to do to a small asteroid, actually a moonlit going around an asteroid, to test ways that we could redirect an asteroid should there ever be one that's coming towards the Earth that we identify as hazardous. Wow. Uh, so, you know, worst case scenario, right now this asteroid poses no threat to the Earth. But could there, you know, could, could we make a mistake and cause this asteroid to head towards Earth? You know, that's one of the number one things that we took into account in planning. First of all, this system, it's like 7 million miles away from Earth, and it doesn't really come into an Earth-crossing orbit. It actually has its own orbit around the sun. And also, too, what we're doing is we're hitting a moonlet orbiting around the larger asteroid, and we're going to change that moonlet's orbit. We're not going to change the system's orbit that much, and so we're not worried that there's any impact to Earth. But what's important is this, right? The moonlet that we're gonna hit is about 150 feet wide, and that's about the size at which asteroids we think become threatening to the Earth. And those are the things that we're really trying to figure out, how do we mitigate if we identify one of those that's coming towards Earth? Yeah, how accurately have we mapped asteroids and other objects in space? Are we are pretty confident no known asteroid poses an impact threat to Earth right now? So NASA, NASA actually runs what's called the Planetary Defense Coordination Office, where it works with other agencies to identify hazards and then figure out ways to deal with them. Right now, there is nothing that we are specifically worried about as a threat, but they are hard to see, and we're working on mapping them all the time. We're even launching another space telescope in the next few years to identify even more of them. So we remain ever vigilant, but nothing to worry about right this minute. All right, Thomas Wagner with NASA. Sony, good luck tonight. It's great to have you. Yeah, thanks for having me.